Before the railways, uh, travel was slow, it was expensive, and it was uncomfortable. The vast majority of people never traveled more than 20 miles from where, where they were born. And most people never traveled faster than they would have been on a galloping horse or in a sailboat, you know, during a high wind. Uh, and the railways changed all that. You know, there was one theory at the time that uh, some scientists came out and said that if you went more than 20 miles an hour, you'd stop breathing. So there was a lot of resistance in the early days of the railways, but eventually that was overcome and, and the railways really changed everything, especially in Toronto. If we're talking about the development of Lee Side, there are three railways, Canadian Pacific, uh, Canadian Northern, um, and the Ontario and Quebec. The first railway through Lee Side was the Ontario and Quebec, which opened in 1884. And almost as soon as it opened, it became part of the Canadian Pacific Railway. And Canadian Pacific uh, was building a line across Canada from Montreal to the Pacific Coast, but they knew that they needed lots of lines in southern Ontario where a lot of people lived, where there was business and manufacturing and so on, to help pay for the construction of this transcontinental line. So they built a line between Montreal and Toronto. And that's the first railway that came through Leaside. Now unfortunately, in order to get to Toronto from Montreal or Ottawa, you came through Leaside all the way to West Toronto, and then the trains had to back up in order to get into Union Station, which was down on the waterfront. So the Canadian Pacific Railway decided that they needed a shortcut to get to downtown Toronto and they established that shortcut at Leaside, which became known as Leaside Junction. So a track was built from Leaside Junction down the Don Valley, uh, and then it turned west into Union Station at that point. This was a huge challenge because they started building the line down the Don Valley in 1888, but there were so many engineering challenges to overcome, there were huge bridges that had to be built. Uh, this took years, and they also had to straighten out the Don Valley at the lower end because at the lower end it sort of meandered in a serpentine way. You just couldn't build tracks beside it. So by the time all that was said and done, it was 1894. And at that point, Leaside became an important railway town, and they built the first passenger station. So by naming the new junction after William Lee's home, it was Canadian Pacific that ensured the name Leaside would live on to this day. However, the 20th century was just a few short years away, and it would be another railway, Canadian Northern, and the enterprising men behind it, whose ambitious plans began to shape the community as we know it.